Hey everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to go over the Oku bottle. I believe it's Swiss German for Eco. Um, it's, you know, there seems to be every day you turn around, there's one of these new bottle bottles on the, uh, um, on the shelves that, uh, you know, filter these waters and stuff like that. So this was a gift to me. Um, it wasn't from a company. Um, you know, I was, I'm not, I haven't been gifted this bottle by Oku or anything like that. This was a gift from my mother-in-law. So thank you for that. Um, the reason I want to do a video on it, you know, because I do have a lot of these these different water filtration bottles, is um, this one stood out a little more to me um, than some of the other um, off. I, I want to call them off brands. You know, there's the big name, uh, the, the big names in the field. You know, you got the Caden, you've got Life Straw, you got Sawyer. You know, I, for me, those are the bigger companies with proven track records of filtration. Um, and I personally hadn't heard of this company. Um, but one thing I do like, and it, it's hard to tell in the video, um, especially my hands aren't huge, but these bottles, it's a, it's, um, it's a lot bigger, um, as you can see here, it's a thousand milliliter bottle. It's a lot bigger than the standard bottles you get for filtration, which I really like. This is the large size, they have a smaller size. Um, is it, uh, you know, and, I, and the filter is a lot, it looks a lot smaller than say um, the life straw, which would come down pretty far. So this would, um, this is basically enable you to take a lot more water in, uh, with you to filtrate if you're doing whatever, um, which I, I do like that feature, the sheer fact you have a larger capacity um, to take with you. Um, the filter, um, it looks very similar to the other products. You know, it looks like it's got that membrane inside which filters out. Um, you can unscrew this. Um, to take it off to clean it if you like. Um, the bottle is soft plastic, it's BPA free, it's not the hard plastic. Um, and, and like all the other filtra uh, filtration systems, you know, this takes out the E. coli, the Giardia, and all that kind of normal stuff. It doesn't take out viruses um, or chemicals, it doesn't filter, filter seawater, uh, things like that. Just um, It comes with a nice little carabine on the back style clip um, where you can clip on to you know, your backpack or I don't know whatever you want to do with it. Um, some people, I was reading some reviews on this product, and some people have said that they have an issue getting the water out um, when you're trying to drink. Now, if any of, you, any of you have used filtration bottles before, you'll know that this is kind of a standard problem. You, when you think about it, you know, you've got to suck the water through the filter to get that clean water. So, um, I'm not, I wasn't put off by any of those comments. It's just kind of what it is, I feel like, with filtration bottles. Let me zoom in here so you guys can read the info while I'm chatting to you. Um, so as I was saying, you know, the bottle is BPA free. You can put it in the dishwasher, not the filter, but the bottle. Um, but they don't recommend necessarily putting the bottle in there because it says it degrades the life um, of the bottle. So you want to hand wash this, uh, preferably. Um, and what else have we got here? Oh, it's a hundred gallon uh, filter capacity, which is the same as. Um, it's you know it's again it's roughly about the same as most filtration systems you'll get on the market. Um, some of the comments I did see um, people were complaining that um, you know it, it leaks easier if you drop it. It's easy to to crack this bottle. Um, again, I, I just got this, so I can't really comment on that. I'm just going off the reviews of what other people have been saying. Um, so it's something to be aware of. You know, if you ever if you're going to use these type of filtration systems for emergencies, you want to really try and test them out. Um, you know. I, you want to, you know, use it data, like take buy one and use it day to day and see how it goes, you know. So so far, I like, as you know, the looks of it is obviously great. You know, it looks really good. It's, you know, I'm sure it'll do just fine. I'm not quite willing to replace my my life straw and my Sawyer products um, as of yet. Um, as I say, I'm going to test this out, see how it goes, see how it performs. If to the point where I like it, what I tend to do is I buy a new one and I put it in storage because with a lot of these filter types, um, you know, with the life straw and with the Sawyer, and I'm assuming with this, if you ever get them wet and then they freeze, it cracks like the membrane and it ruins um, the filter. So you gotta be, you gotta, you know, you wanna be careful. So as I say, if you if you use it, just be aware that you don't let it freeze. That's why I tend to use it. Make sure I like the product, and then I'll buy another one for you know for proper storage in my car or in my house or whatever. So anyway, so there you go, folks. Uh, that is the Oku, and I'm, hopefully I'm saying that right. That was a milliliter water bottle, um, and they say it's NASA filtration technology. Um, I don't know how true that is. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess if they're claiming it, it must be true, right? Um, so anyway, 
Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, as always, I really appreciate um, you guys leaving them. If I can help you, I can. If I, excuse me, if I can help you, I will. And uh, yeah, you know, thanks for following along. Have a good day.